Yes, hello there. I wanted to come on here once again to share with you all these very important messages from the Lord. And mind you guys, these messages I got lately were not something to be ignored. Before I start sharing with the messages proper, I want to welcome you all who are new to my channel. Uh, I hope you can get a chance to view my previous videos also. Well, for those who are new, um, I want to say I would like to tell you that I have uh, shared uh, mostly here um, on my channel about some messages from the Lord that I got through visions and at times in dreams. Mostly of those were about rapture, about Lord's second coming, and some future events that has something to do with the Lord's upcoming punishments for people who are outrightly wicked pers uh, persons who deliberately choose to reject God in their life in a way challenging God rejecting his offered salvation and also discrediting God's existence anyway before I go so far I wanted to start with this uh, warning messages now you know and I know that God is so all-knowing God he knows er in everything about you and me nothing is hidden at all with him in this world and in all the universe he knows me uh, well enough that i am not so clear uh, clever to remember every detail that happened in my dreams or vision in this connection the message uh, messages god gave me were in a kind of an installment form one vision to another vision and given to me in different dates well the first vision i got was a military jet it came to my mind before i started praying at past three in the afternoon last october 11 or 12 uh, 2021 i'm not sure about the exact date for i forgot to jot it down on my diary but I was really wondering much as to why it transpired in my vision. And I remember it flying in an exhibition style, showing only its bottom part. And in an instant, it vanished. But last October 14, as I was surfing on YouTube try, trying to find what's new and interesting things there, then I at once saw a military jet photo on one of these Christian evangelizers YouTube channel and that military jet photo he shared looked exactly of what of that one in my vision but only that on his photo it shows the back part so just like the same what you are uh, watching now on uh, the screen so as I listened closely to all what he was talking about and he was uh, I was so very eager and so uh, as was I'm listening so uh, closely about the about what he said so he's talking about disaster that is going to happen in Israel and this disaster will happen as a result of a military jet that's going to attack Israel this man whose name is Troy Black was also chosen by the Lord for this mission to disseminate his messages um, Brother Troy received messages from the Lord, um, Holy Spirit, through vision and at times through the words of the Holy Spirit uh, talking to him. Through the uh, evangelizers, uh, I mean, um, he shared this warning message on Seed Roots, uh, it's super na uh, natural channel. And also he mentioned about something more that has something to do with a military jet that will cause tragedy in Croatia and Slovakia. And in his, uh, he shared this in his own channel. And he mentioned that these uh, nations will suffer a kind of tragedy like that what happened in New, York, New York's Twin Tower buildings. And we know what happened there last September 11, 2001. I guess... Uh, Many of you have uh, heard about that this deadliest terrorist attack on U.S. soil. So going back to all that, uh, what he had shared. So I was really so greatly surprised since I also have a kind of vision similar to his vision of an incoming tragedy. 
But in my vision that happened last October 21, uh, 2021, I saw a certain place that was in utter destruction. I only saw heavy smoke and it was so weird uh, though that I saw it in all, uh, all in a bird's eye view. It's as if I were in a high place uh, looking down. And the next vision was that Statue of Liberty was about to fall down. Therefore, I conclude that there must be a great disaster to happen in America. Well, prior to this vision, I saw a place that had been experiencing a very heavy rain. And the next scenario was the water uh, of the rain torn into fire. Thus reminds me of Sodom and Gomorrah. I don't see any people there, but only a, uh, a place in an, in an utter destruction. And those were the scenario I got last October 15. And as I opened my eyes after that, I asked the Lord about where this kind of event shall happen. And that day, uh, days after that, I did not receive any answer yet, only last October 21. And that's what uh, I got uh, last uh, October 21. So uh, God uh, showed me uh, the Statue of Liberty. So that, that's, that's why I concluded that it's, uh, something will happen uh, in America. Guys, as I viewed and reviewed um, some of those prophetic pronouncements by people, who were so brave enough to share their dreams and visions on internet and i have already already studied some of their declarations and somehow believed that they meant what they are telling to the people uh, lately there were there were many prophecies on the internet that have something to do with an incoming war and that these people the evil ones will soon to succeed with their long time plan to rule the world of course, we have heard already uh, through evangelizers, preachers, religious leaders about tons or tons of sermons on the net or on their churches that coming uh, about this coming end time and the reigning of the wicked ones. So I'm sure you have heard about these conflicts between many nations now, guys. We have been preached at, but many of these preachers, uh, evangelizers, and religious leaders for many years now. For Christians, for sure, this is not any more new, for this was written in the Bible. We will not ask anymore when will this going to happen. But the question is, are we already prepared when all this, uh, what was prophesied in the Bible will come to pass any moment soon? Guys, this is the time now that we should hold fast with our faith in the Lord Jesus. This is the time now that we should pray even more. We should ask the Lord Jesus to rupture us before this war will happen. So we can escape this coming so great suffering, so indescribable horrific days. Brothers and sisters, our only way of escape now is to be ruptured by the Lord. Yeah, by the way, I remember that um, my last video prior to this one, I shared about that message the Lord gave me. I heard it from the ears of my spirit that he said, I'm coming. And this was the most awesome of all messages I received from the Lord. This was the answer I have waited for, uh, for from him for many months now. And only last September 22, this year, I got his answer, and this made me so overjoyed. Also, before I go, I wanted to share with you all about this message from one of God's servants received particularly uh, from Servants of Christ community. The message goes, Another wave is coming. We are now experiencing the calm before the great storm. The time of rest between the contractions, like that of a woman that's about to give birth. A shaking is coming. A time of testing. Idols will come down in order to bring those in slumber to their knees to repentance. 
Awake now, sleepy brides, get ready. Sound the alarm. Fill your lamps with oil. Keep the anointing from the Holy Spirit burning and keep them lit. Because the darkness is coming, but so is the groom. Be awake and red be ready to receive him. Prepare now. Get your house in order. Repent from your sins and be right with the Lord Jesus. Take heed. It's time. It is time for the tears to be separated from the weight. Consecrate yourself with Jesus right now. And lastly, um, yesterday, October 27, 2021, this year, before I woke up, I remember a word that was repeated two times in my dream. It says, time goes so quick. Time goes so quick. And the last word I heard was, time is up. And I believe that this is what the Lord wanted to tell us all. Brothers and sisters, it's really so smart if all of people here on earth should start already ask forgiveness from all sins committed and to turn away from committing sin over and over again before it's too late. There is not much time anymore to waste. If you don't want it to be in the tribulation day, don't waste this chance. Accept the Lord's mercy towards your soul. Be ready of his soon coming. Praying that all of you who got the chance viewing this video will also inform other people whom you know is still in need of your help. They who need repentance and to get to know more about God's offered salvation. This is the time now that Christ should be so enthusiastic, that Christians, I mean, should be so enthusiastic to minister to other people, lead them back to God, to encourage others to get ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus. Okay, guys, I think I am done now with what I should suppose to say here. May the Lord bless and protect us all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.